Steve, an update on uh, uh, our show starting four weeks on Saturday and we've got four back to back but before that we've got, I'm going to catch up with today actually, uh, Reese Mould is out on the 10th fighting for the English title isn't he? But uh, there's been a few more, uh, we've got uh, Flatley out, is Cullen, can you mention about Cullen? Is yeah, I mean I've just been looking now, I've counted up our fighters Lee and we've, we've got 71 Jones. fighters yep. so obviously on our roster we've got the 25th in Doncaster which is doing Jimmy Addison I think we've got five VIP kids out on that one then we've got the 4th in the Olympia we've got 12 kids out on that we've got the 11th at Bolton which we do with Elite and I think we've got 6 or 7 out on that one and then we've got Wigan on the 18th we've got 10 of our VIP fighters on that and then we've got a little bit of a break before we go on the 8th in Wakefield where we doing it with Abbe yeah. and I think we've got five of our VIP kids on that and then the 15th of April in Hull and we've got um, six on there I think so uh, that's six of our own shows that we're doing in the space of like two months so out of the 71 fighters I've worked out there's about seven that I've not got dates for yet and th th there's reasons behind that but just to let you know what we're doing with, with, with the other shows obviously uh, we've got kids who've kind of outgrown the VIP shows now and are on TV platforms and then kids who are good enough to go and, and, and go in the way corners and yeah. hopefully cause some upset so um, on the 11th in, in Liverpool, which is difficult at the moment because it's 11th of March, 11th of it? March in Liverpool, yeah. which is a matchroom disown show. It's not been officially announced, but it has been all out there, so it's difficult to say who's fighting who because it's up to matchroom to uh, announce that. But um, we've got Cullen in a big fight and it has been leaked out somewhere, I don't know uh, where it come from, but yeah, he's fighting uh, a top undefeated American and it, it's a tough fight for him, but uh, it's one that he's up for the challenge and, and he, he's excited about because it propel him back into world level where he was when he beat Yildon, so uh, he's taking an opportunity on that one. Mickey Ellison's back on there, he won't take a scientist to work out who he'll be fighting. Aki Fias, who's uh, contracted to match rooms on it, and Paddy Lacey, who, um, obviously, because yeah, a number of ticket sales. We've, so we've got four on there. Um, who's the top of the bill on that one? Has that I been believe announced? it's Callum Smith, but that's, oh. that's not been announced yet. Right, but no. uh, uh, from what I've seen, it's not a, not a bad show, but to say it's a match room to announce that. Same night as we're in Bolton, so it's going to be uh, one of those. I might be able to flip between the two depending on time, but I don't know there. Um, the following week, again, Again, this is to be announced, so um, we can't say who's fighting who, but there's going to be a show in Newcastle and uh, Ben Mark being added my card are, are on that, um, yeah. simply because they're local lads and sell tickets, so you know, just a six rounder for Ben and a four rounder for Adam. Then there's another show to be announced on the 24th of um, March in Bolton, which again is a TV show and uh, we'll have some involvement on that. Hey, One hey. thing I can tell you that will be going on that will be James Moorcroft being Nathan Bennett. So that's come off our show right. in Liverpool on the 4th and he's going to get more profile because it, it's such a good fight, isn't it? So what's that, um, Channel 5 then? Um, it's to be announced that oh, one. Right, okay. Yeah, so uh, that, that, that'll be announced shortly, but more coffee, Bennett will be on that and I'm really looking Top forward five. to that. And, I, and I, I'll probably have a couple more on, on there as well. Then the night after, which is um, in Telford, and I didn't think I'd be able to say this, but well, it was announced there, yesterday, yeah. um, Jack Flatley's got the rematch with Nate than Heaney, so um, that's a good one for us. And then uh, sticking on the TV, there's one in Sheffield that's going to be announced uh, at uh, the middle of, middle of April. Corey O'Regan will be on that one. And the 22nd in Cardiff, it's not officially been announced, but again, it's all out there. And Zelfa Barrett will be on that one. So um, I think. There's about seven kids that, that we've not got matched up and some of them there's good reasons. Carl and Motti, we could have been fighting but he's, he's had a, an injury. So, uh, yeah, um, had an injury from that's his That's right, he's had an operation on his hand so he, he's, um, he's not uh, ready to be matched up. Mason Cartwright, um, I put his name in the frame for a few fights 
There's one particular one still bubbling, which we're waiting for. Um, a few of us have, have turned him down, won't, won't fight him. Uh, Brad Ray still got an injury, so he won't be out till May. Tom Farrell, we're waiting to match Tom up. Kane Gardner, we've offered him. You won't believe the number of people that uh, he's been offered to and been partly accepted from the matchmakers and the promoters only for the trainers to turn him down. But again, I've got one bubbling for Kane, so hopefully we'll have that one. Josh Warrington, we're going to see what happens with the winners of uh, the 18th, which is um, Lee Lara Woods and, and Lara, yeah. and explore other avenues for him. But Josh will be out in June, whatever, so that, that's sure there. And then one where I thought I'd got them matched up was Mark Leach, and um, we offered him for Jason Cunningham on the 25th of uh, March, and they turned him down, they, they, they wouldn't fight him. Um, and then the Astors on the same show, would you fight Andrew Kane? So there's no one to fight. Yeah, and we said yeah, and it's a good domestic fight. Great domestic but fight. Yesterday we seen an announcement when he said about Heaney that he was fighting someone else. So uh, that come as a bit of a blow because uh, we hadn't got it all over the line, but we thought we was nearly there. We'd, we'd accepted the fight. Um, so uh, I was gutted for Mark when, when that come. And do you know what? I'm gutted for boxing fans as well because as we've seen on Saturday night, which um, everyone's been talking about, Eubank and, and Smith, you can't beat a domestic fight, you know, like no, no. he, he well, you know what you get, don't you? Yeah, and, and, and that'd have been Blake Kane v um, Leach, wasn't it? And um, I was gutted for him. So uh, there's a couple of kids who, who were injured. Brian Phillips, I'm waiting for a little confirmation that we've got him out on a big card so um where will that be well can't speak on that one yet but we're waiting on that one there and then jack kilgan and i'm looking to see if we can get him another opportunity if not he'll just have to fight one of our shows so uh you know we're really there you know there's a lot of pressure when you've got 70 odd fighters to uh keep them all active and, and in, in, so busy, in the right busy fight the so week, uh, right? Even though I was looking for January to be a wind down, January to concentrate on me engineering. I've been busy getting everything right for the lads and uh, I'm quite pleased with it. And I think we've got some cracking shows of ourselves and obviously we'll go through them one by one. Maybe next week we'll do the uh, the one for um, Doncaster and we'll, we'll do them week by week. You know, we'll start telling you what we've got on the, uh, the Olympia. I'm looking for a, a, a decent fight for Brandon Diard who, who, who could top the bill there. I really want to push Brandon this year. Um, try to get him on the um, TV. Would you would be but, stepping uh, him up on our show to at least eight rounds then? We've we're going to get what we can get. I mean, there's right. a couple of opportunities. Problem is getting people to fight him. I mean, no, that, I know. That, that is the problem. Why would you want to fight him? It's, dif it's difficult, and um, you know, uh, as I say, Bolton's going to need a top of the bill. We're more cloth now, changing, but you know. The good shows and the tickets are going well, so anyone wants tickets, they know the lads there, get on to them and uh, enjoy a good night and tune in the telly because our lads are always an exciting fight on the telly, yeah. you know, uh, we don't handpick opponents like a lot of people mate, we uh, understand the promoting and we get on with it. Mm, good, good, well I'm excited because uh uh, uh, that's most of all happened over the last few days there mate. I know mm. you've been working on it behind closed doors, yeah. but uh, some of that is the first I've heard and, and yeah. uh, as you can see I'm smiling. Cheers pal. See you later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.